Hi everyone, this is Marcia from Our Vintage Store. I'm back with another bag from Value Village. Let's see if we'll find something besides bracelets in this one. <laughs> we really have been getting a lot of bracelets in these uh, in these bags. Well, yeah, looks like a lot of bracelets, maybe all bracelets in here too, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> Again, this one was $9.99, and we're starting off with wood. That's interesting. They want it. Three ninety nine for that. It's a little stretched out. Interesting pieces. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll start with that. And this is an animal print. It's a metal base and then it's got that uh, like resin over it very lightweight um, and that is just a leather anyway it feels like leather so dyed leather bracelet. Okay, well this has a saying on it which I'm going to have to look up because I don't know. Okay, well that also feels like leather. I think it even says it. No, it says made in China. <laughs> Still could be leather. It says large. <laughs> large made in China. But I'll have to. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. I'll butcher it, I'm sure. So, but anyway, that's that. Wow. I think this is Christmassy. Got the snowman, got the snowflakes, got the stars and. Looks like a little elf's hat. Very nice. Very heavy. Pieces are heavy. Okay. Well. It's a lobster claw clasp. Well, that is cold. I thought for sure it was going to be plastic, but that is cold, so I don't know. Um... Don't see any makers. I don't know if that's a natural stone or glass, but it's faceted and it's cold. So, got that. Well, looks like someone may have restrung this and not a good job with the, the knots exposed, so, oh, no, I couldn't even get that on, so, um, if it cleans up, maybe we'll restring it. Here's another blue and gold plastic with the little spikes or pyramids or whatever you want to call them. Here's a cuff. I was looking to see if this was supposed to be a butterfly, but um, I don't see it. So it's just open work, filigree. Oop. Here's, and these are acrylic beads. Pretty color though, that lavender color. Stretch bracelet, 
And here is some, looks like that gun metal. Bangle bracelets. Some more bangle bracelets. Again, kind of like that gun metal. Yeah, these are, I think these are glass. Glass beads. Clear glass beads. Strung. And we have a rhinestone stretch bracelet. <clears throat> Excuse me, did that come out? <laughs> a rhinestone stretch bracelet. Pretty color. And... No idea. They're plastic, I guess. First I thought they were like rubber, but no, they're hard. Harder. And yeah. It's an acrylic angle. And a little seed bead with a tassel. Thank goodness it's stretchy. Um, this one says Bluma Project. Not familiar with that. Another thing I'll have to look up. And this is very lightweight but pretty color. Pretty green. And it is a stretch bracelet. All right, here's a gold tone, gold tone bracelet with the black enamel in the center. And I do see something, Napier. I think I have another Napier similar to this, and I think it's blue instead of black. So, not bad. Napier piece. Here's a little charm. A little charm bracelet with, looks like a guitar pick. Um, the shape of a guitar pick. Um, and I'm not sure. I think that might be the Jonas Brothers. But again, not it says copyright HR slash JBE so maybe Jonas Brothers Enterprise Enterprises and here is another like a cup chain with the blue Blue beads. Oh, wow. And it's missing one, of course. Or is it? It's missing several. Should have pink stones, and there's one here, one here, and one here that are not there. And I don't see any name. This is unusual to have the uh, toggle. Wait a minute. I say I don't see a name. I think there's a name on here. No. It's just some scratches. Just a little rhinestone. Interesting, though. I'm not going to try to put it together. But that's interesting. I like that. All right. Here's another metal bracelet. With the hinge. Looks like it's silver tone. It also looks like it has some gold tone to it also. Okay. Got that. Another acrylic stretch bracelet. Another acrylic black faceted bead bracelet. 
have one like this? Was it this bag or the other bag? I've seen one like this. Yeah, I think it was the other bag, maybe. One of the other bags, but got that. And these are pretty. The cat's eye beads. Love that green one. Nice. And here we have a bracelet with um, double chain with the double lobster claw closure. Simple. And another cup chain, and this is missing at least one. So maybe we can either find one or repurpose the rest of them. Another acrylic bead in pink bracelet. Oh, this is pretty. The toggle closure. No name. But that's pretty. It's very pretty. Nice. And this one. Everything appears to be there. No names. It's a little big. Could easily take one of those out. Stretch is a little stretched. <laughs> and some more gunmetal. Boy, I tell you, they must have had a huge donation of bangles and bracelets. That's all I can say is. Not sure. Looks like fish scales. <laughs> and their shell, I think. The mother of pearl. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Just throwing things away. And we have one of those DI charm bracelets. And we have a little plastic or acrylic bead bracelet with the barrel clasp closure. Now these. Well, these are probably class. I'm not sure. They're very, very cold, so my guess is glass, but I'll, I'll take a closer look at them later. Very pretty blue. And here we have a stretch bracelet, and it looks like a flower, a butterfly, and a starfish. Interesting. The butterfly looks like it's a little off, off-centered. Nice. I think these type of bracelets have a name, but I can't think of it. I don't know what they're called. Okay, what have we got here? We have a bracelet. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. Some stamp design. No names. It's rather heavy, though. Oh. Yeah, it's hematite. It's not magnetic. It's just the hematite beads. 
That's nice. It has the barrel clasp. Wow. This needs a little fine tuning. As far as the um the stretch cord goes, but oh, I hate when they put it on the stone. Gotta clean that off now. But that is a pretty bracelet. For anyone who likes that deep red, that's nice. Oh, do I have monies? <laughs> I'm not sure. That might be real money. Oh well, yeah, maybe um, Mexican peso, maybe. I'm not really sure, but I think it's real. And here's another of those, another one of those um, DI charm bracelets. And here, I've had one of these before. And I think it was blue. The little dolphins and the flowers. Here's another, I don't know if it's the same size. I'm not even sure it was this bag, but I know we had, just recently had one of these. Was it this bag? Well, I know we had um, the gray pearls. So I've got another one of those, and we have, hmm. This looks like an older piece, has the fold over clasp. You know, it looks like somebody just put that on there. A little medallion with the AB finish crystal in the center. Oh, and we have a uh, Diabetic um, Medic Alert bracelet. And these are probably glass, very small, very small. This one is a cross bracelet with the beads, and it has a toggle clasp. Oh, this is pretty. Get this in here. That's pretty. These, uh, these are acrylic beads. But that's nice. Oh my goodness, I hope I've been in frame. I tell you. I get, I get so engrossed in what I'm looking at that uh, sometimes I just, I shift and, and don't think about it, so... Sorry, guys. I'll know when I check it out. I don't see a name on here, but this is very cute. I like it. And the last one. Yeah, these are cool. So these may be the uh, rose quartz chips. Mixed with the, um, mm -mm, I don't think those are glass, but the faceted beads. Oh, that's cold. But that's nice. Little pink. And that's it. Another bag out of the way. These ones with the bracelets, 
there's such bulk that uh, it doesn't take long to get through these. So another one down. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.